could be finishing second best in their group. So, confirmation of a starting 11. Front accord, the Frex trade accord, rather, just get a start once again. And then Julius Polotto, as well as Abubakar Kasule. One player that has been exceptional in this tournament so far, the captain, Mohamed Shaban, as well as uh, Steven Mukwala. Brilliant to watch. Very brilliant to watch. And the, he's a kid on the block. Uh, he, he's playing for KCCA team that uh, that is playing in the African Champions League. And what a, a tender age, you know, getting that experience of playing in the Champions League, uh, you are most likely, you know, to grow. If you keep your feet rooted on the ground, keep your head focused on the goal, uh, you're most likely to go far. He has got all the attributes of being a great player. He just needs uh, to be handled well. And let's not forget this young team of Swaziland, where we have this young man, uh, Gebeze Sifiso Saviola. Uh, the captain very close game i have to say as well now uh, the ugandan coach uh, timothy yeah. you don't want to give much away he kept on saying you're dealing with in zambia it's quite a very different i'm sure the intake of water has to be a, a paramount impossible game time in their legs ugandan football sitting on a bench victor mutovu his father was alex waswa Speaking of legends of the Ugandan game, yes, uh, it's always, you know, it's a proud moment when you have got, you know, an offspring that takes up, takes over. And the Swaziland team, when they have the ball, they are keeping it, they are patient, they are not panicking. Those are all uh, characteristics of a team that is very competitive. But a near side official, it is flag up. Elephant offside. The man did not even see it at all, I've got to tell you. But then, <laughs> I think he saw where the keeper was because you can see even his reaction when the ball is going towards goal. He's come back near side of a field. It is still Mustafa Kiza. Not here as well for this year's tournament. It was a burning furnace. Yeah, no, no, that, that, was, that was, I mean, I really had fun. Where a victory would have done them good, they would have qualified for the next round, for the next round. But they just couldn't get it done. Saviola Gamanz has scored one of the goals. He really scored the season by this tournament, right, by the way. Senior old, all those players coming from Sipofaneni. I'm impressed by the statement of the coach. They saw how he's going to play. The Swaziland players cannot match the Ugandans when it comes to height. Ball paid in wide by Mujuzi. Collected near side of a field by Kiza. Gets the ball back again. Kiza, another 18 year old that has already won their first game. It's a long ball towards the far post, headed down this time around. Oh, just couldn't get the right control. <laughs> uh, uh, Noah was talking about, yesterday Noah was talking about the fact that when you're playing as a... Uh, he asking questions about Shaban, a 19-year-old player from Mantinda. You know, trying to keep order in this field of play. Ready the first time here, the ball order went forward and supplied a brilliant uh, strikers. If you look at that cross uh, coming in, you know, it's a dipping ball. Uh, the keeper, I don't know what he was, what he was up to, uh, you know, uh, he didn't even give it a second. Chances going forward, long ball played in towards order, near side of the field, into the penalty area, he goes. And then he goes tumbling down, the ball collected by Uganda. It's a long one clear this time around by the standard range. We have actually put on the ball over the crossbar, right on the line. And they uh, have a yawn find the back of the net here. So this is the cross floated in. Mustafa Kiza is causing all sorts of problems for the, from Uganda. And up well towards the far post. Try to return the ball back. Very tough evening, uh, uh, tough afternoon. Uh, because uh, these guys are very good uh, at meeting the ball. They are willing to run. And I think Sutherland score, scoring has awoken the Ugandan team. A free kick, but I think would have done it uh, easier by releasing the ball to his uh, other teammate, maybe Shaban uh, or Kero. And then they would have uh, returned the ball to him to score. Set piece now for Uganda outside the penalty area. Ball in! Over the crossbar. Goal kick will be to Swaziland. Let me tell you, there's one one of uh, the uh, dignities from Swaziland. And uh, every time we talk about Swaziland football, we have a conversation after the game. So, <laughs> <laughs> Brad, I would love to join you in your laughter. Eh? <laughs> Interesting day for these countries. One will regroup once again. Every time you see technical team members of uh, you bench me <laughs> you for 9.8 killing all early ball 
It's the live year for Uganda. Mustafa yeah. Keith. So let's see now. Shaban and Cole step forward. Ball yeah. coming in. So far, the scoreline remains. 2-1 in favor of Uganda. We're just moments away from moving on to the next stage of this tournament. First out of a field now, it is Kuji Kagimo. Long ball in.